When's the last time you let a naysayer talk you out of an idea? I really want you to think about that for a second. When's the last time you let a naysayer or, you know, the famous word hater deter you from something you were doing? Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged with me, D. I'm so glad you're here. And I am still just thinking about our interview that we had on Tuesday with Madison Jaconi, Mads Tads. And, uh, you know, we talked a lot about like the work that we put in and, you know, like she wasn't kidding. There's a Reddit thread about her and I'm sure there's a Reddit thread about me out there somewhere too. And it's like, people are just, there's always going to be people that just like, don't get it. You know, they don't get why you're doing the things that you're doing. They don't get why you make the sacrifices you make. They don't get it. But you know what? Like those people are also not seeing the work you do in the shadows. They're not seeing the work that you do behind closed doors. They're not seeing the work that you do quietly away from everyone, the work that no one sees. They're not seeing that. So it's, it's really important if you're listening to this and maybe you've let a naysayer or, you know, hater, I hate that word, but hater, you know, say enough about you that makes you rethink your direction. Uh, my dad always used to say to me, if you are pleasing everybody, then you are not pleasing yourself. And it's so true. If you are living your life authentically and you are becoming the highest version of you, your highest self, chances are that is going to make some people very uncomfortable. I find that it's very hard for people to accept that you have evolved when they know where you come from. Because if they're judging you for your evolution, then chances are that person might still be in the place that they thought you would always be in, right? We've talked about this on this podcast before, growing out of a box you didn't ask to be put in. But it goes deeper than that. You lay your head down at night. You know the work you've done to be where you are in this moment. You know the sacrifices you've made to have the life you have. You are the one that has to live with all of those moments that it felt hopeless and you pushed on anyway, right? You are the one that gets to live with that. So you are the only one who gets to decide whether or not you continue down your path or you change directions. I think about all the times like people have said something to me about, you know, a business that I've started or soul cycle or moving to England or getting married young or choosing to have my son when I barely knew his dad. Like, like nobody knew the work that I was doing on the inside. Nobody knew the personal development work that I had done to make the decisions I've made. Nobody knows the you know, what, what you've been through. Nobody knew what I had been through to be able to make the decisions that I made. And so I just want to encourage you out there. If you are, if you are a person that's easily swayed by other people's opinions, they don't know other people's opinions, a, are none of your business and other people don't know what you do in the shadows. They don't know what sacrifices and the work that you've done when no one's watching. Right. So keep going. Please keep going because I can tell you the world needs people who are just blazing a trail in their own soul, who are just powering through with or without approval. Because powering through with or without approval, man, that's going to set you free. It's going to save you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to save you. So maybe send this episode to someone that needs to hear, you know, needs to hear it. Because I think of Madison, I think of so many people that I've had on this podcast and so many people in my life. And it's like, you, it's true. Mads has been drugged through the mud by the internet. And if you know her, you know how hard that girl works. 
And like show up for the people that show up for you. Don't show up for the people that aren't in your corner. Those aren't your people, right? I, I hear it all the time where I'll, I'll, somebody will say to me, oh, well, my friends criticize this or my friends give me shit for starting this business. I have a lot of friends, obviously, in network marketing. And I have a lot of uh, people be like, I have a lot of my, my best friend has a hard time with me doing this business or my friends don't agree with this. Honey, those aren't your friends then. Those aren't your friends because if your friends knew you and they knew your heart and they knew where you are and they know who you are and they know what you stand for and they know your work ethic, it's not going to matter what you do as long as you're not hurting people, you know? I just think it's really hard to put weight on someone's opinion who's never walked in your shoes, who's never gone where you're going, you know? And I'm not saying just like walk through the world and be like, fuck them. Like, don't do that. But just be protective of your energy. Protect your energy. Protect your soul. Protect the fact that you know where you're going. And whatever it is that you started that other people have a hard time with, just keep, just keep going. Just keep going because the world needs it. The world needs people who keep going. The world needs people who aren't willing to quit just because somebody has a problem with it. I hope wherever you are, you're having the day that you need. And I'm very excited to see you on Tuesday for another interview. Happy Friday.